how I'll clean my towels are. The things that make us so conscious. That's all ours. Ugly kitchen towels. Oh no! Hey guys, welcome back to my crib. I don't know. I'm in a really weird mood today. You'll have to excuse me. It's like almost 60 degrees out and it's dumped snow on us like two days ago. So people are going a little crazy with these spring feels. This is Chicago though, so this will not stick. It will probably snow in April several times. Anyway, we're pretending it's spring going along with the, the fun weather today and uh, continuing my spring fever. Clean out, clear out. No, clear out, clean up business. Um, sorry about the froggy throat, still just winter. Am I right? Because <clears throat> it's still actually winter. Anyway, I thought I would tackle my mudroom today. It just because I think literally of where it's located and its function, as a result of both of those things, it becomes an absolute dumping ground. And it still maintains the same level of organization that I showed when I sh did like the big reveal and what it looks like now, although it, there's different flooring in it than there was before. Now we have like a gray wood-like, wood-looking vinyl floor, which I love. I also have up in the, uh, in my master closet slash laundry room. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, organization's still the same. I will pop a link to that video if you wanna see it. But it's just, it's accumulated things and I thought, why not point the camera at my mess and show the internet? Awesome. Uh, so I'm basically giving myself, I don't know, an hour? I don't think it's gonna take that long, maybe half an hour, we'll see how long it takes, to just sweep through and finally, like actually put things away. Legitimately, stuff has been sitting out that I've been meaning to put away since summer. So yeah, now that it's almost spring, and it's almost come full circle in a year here, I guess it's time to tackle that. I will just preface this by saying, I don't know why, but whenever I have any of the lights on in my house, everything looks green. No matter what I do with the white balance, no matter what kind of light bulbs I use, and that room especially, because there's no windows and there's no natural light, it looks green. It is not green. In the tender light of day, it has light blue walls and a gray wash floor and white cabinets, and it's very cool tone neutral. I don't know why it's green. I apologize. It bothers me to no end that it reads green on camera. Probably the lighting doesn't help in there. But all that aside, let's go look at my mess in my mudroom. Yay. Okay, so mudroom. Have not pre-tidied this. This is what it looks like on any given day. So generally, if nothing's on the floor, I, I would say it's a pretty tidy space. Everything's basically on a hook or in a bin, except for the pile of stuff from summer that still is there. I feel like I could go through these and clean them out because the kids are probably, those are bins for the kids and for Winnie and um, some swim bags that we don't use because now we have that swim bag. So I feel like I could go through and just tidy up. The cabinets honestly are probably fine. The closet is a bit of a disaster. That's all stuff to give away. So I need to go through that anyway. Pull that out because I've started collecting things. Returns to make that I should absolutely put in my car because if I don't put them in the car, I don't make them. I want to go through all my coats and our scarves and things and just make sure that we want everything we have and then just tidy up this area. I'm not going to venture into the shelves. Where is the light in this? I'm not going to go up there, you guys. I think it's fine. Those are all extra plates and all of these bins. You know what? I actually might pull them down and look at them because it's been a little while. But other than that, yeah. Let's tidy, and I'll, I'll try to speed clean style it for you. I don't know how that will pan out. I guess I should leave that on, huh? Uh, but yeah, again, I don't know why it looks green on camera. It's not green. Okay, let's do this thing.
okay, I'm all done. This is the stuff that is leaving the mudroom. There wasn't really that much trash, just a few little odds and ends. Um, these are all donation things in the middle here, like this area. And then, I had, so it snowed on Halloween this year. We usually get hundreds and hundreds of kids, and we got maybe half the amount of kids we usually do. So I still have Halloween candy. And I know there are places you can donate those, so that is happening. Things are getting donated, including that candy, which is still good to eat. It's just, I don't want it in my house. And then a little bag of stuff of Don's like winter things. I want to see if he wants. And um, what else? Yes, I pulled out a few things to bring upstairs. Um, some toys and things that could say for next Christmas or birthdays or whatever. Some stuff for my room, some of the kids' clothes in this bag. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell or keep. It's a Lululemon beach bag from forever ago. But yeah, pretty pretty good progress. All right, I'm just gonna do an after sweep for you guys here. Went through every bin, every bag. I actually downsized my big diaper bag because I don't use it anymore and I haven't for months. I just use my day bag there. Um, really, just a lot of going through things and I wiped down the shelves and just, you know, thinking about what to purge and what to keep. I did just the slightest bit of reorganizing in here. Um, I go to these very sweaty kind of sculpty classes lately. Um, so I keep my like towels that are specific for those over by my yoga mat because I bring all those together. And I did go through some of the bins, but not all of them. And I was able to pull out a coat or two and get some stuff off the floor. But other than that, I think, you know, I think it turned out really great. I'm pleased as punch that that bag is no longer on the bench there. That's making me very, very happy. And other than that, it just, everything works really well organization-wise in here. I didn't have a problem with the way the room was set up. Uh, it just, it just needed a good comb through. So, mission accomplished. Well, that took a lot longer than expected, to be honest. It's such a small space. It's not, you know, it's, well, I mean, it's adequate room, but it's not like the kitchen or something that you would expect to take 75 minutes. But it did take that long because I did make the, you know, the effort to go through every bin and, and think about things and pull, and I, you could see I pulled quite a bit out of there. Some of that disclaimer, and I think I said in the beginning of the video, were bags of things to give away that I already had in there. I had a couple of bags, but I was able to do several bags more and a lot of winter gear of the kids that they grew out of and you know just it felt really good to clean through that and, and just know that that's done now uh, so yay I'm gonna treat myself by taking my dog out for a second walk in this beautiful beautiful weather today uh, and get some fresh air it feels so good to clean something and then go like breathe in the fresh air Yay spring. I know this is not gonna last because Chicago's such a tease. There's like literally no spring. They just, Chicago weather teases spring and you never actually get it. But take the little teasy days that you, everyone that you can get um, and enjoy it. Anyway, I hope this video was interesting or inspirational to you in some way to clean something, even if it's just go through your bag, go through your junk drawer, go through your nightstand, pick something small and work up to something bigger. Um, it feels really, really good. So happy spring cleaning, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.